Okay, that's cool. Okay, I have to charge this so it's in this angle. So I apologize if it's in this angle, I have to charge it. I, I don't know if I said this in my multiple complex developmental disorder, but I'm just going to make a separate video saying that um, I think the reason why I don't have a diagnosis of... Well, I have diagnoses mentally, um, but there's just some stuff that's been unexplained for years and it, it's, it drives me crazy. Um, I theorize that my weird thinking is just that. It's just weird and that's it. Like, people that believe that the other kin, they're not mentally ill, they're just... They're, they're not disordered, they're not disordered, they're just different. But I look back at my past, I did have paranoia. I did kind of have delusions a little, like my weird beliefs kind of did become almost delusions because I would obsess about them and they would stay one way for a long time. Nowadays I'm eclectic, I change my beliefs a lot. I'm not a chaos magician, if you don't know what that is, look up chaos magic. Um, I guess you could say I'm unintentionally a chaos magician because I'm not trying to do it, you know? I think the real reason why I don't have a diagnosis for my weird thinking and beliefs is because I I technically probably do fit multiple complex developmental diagnostic criteria. It's just I'm not getting diagnosed with it because it's not in the DSM, you know, the mental health book. Um, if it was, uh, no, if it were, I probably would have the diagnosis. Probably not, because a lot of psychiatrists don't know what the hell's going on with me for some reason. But no, prob I probably would. I mean, I once had a therapist say to me, you have a little bit of everything. Like, what the fuck does that supposed to mean? Uh, maybe she maybe she was referring to that, but she couldn't diagnose me because it's not recognized as a disorder, you know what I mean? Um, but yeah, because um, I, I obviously I'm not schizophrenic. A lot of people think that I'm schizophrenic because I have weird beliefs, but I don't hear voices. I was misdiagnosed with schizoaffective because as a, as a teenager I had mood swings, hormones, and I had weird beliefs. I'm 26. I still have weird beliefs, but my hyponess has kind of died down. My depression is basically gone. Um, so I'm not schizoaffective. Never had hallucinations. Not, like, I've had mildly weird things, like, in my, like, in the corner of my eyes that could be lack of sleep, that could be stress, that I also have a vitamin deficiency. That was probably the beginning of my vitamin deficiency. I take a multivitamin. Um, I, but I never saw anything in front of my eyes. I never heard, I don't hear, I never heard voices. Unless you're a real person, or if I'm listening to music. If it's real, obviously. Um, but as far as like, fake voices when no one's around, never had that. Um, I don't know, I just, I don't relate to schizophrenia. I look up schizoaffective, a video on it, some guy was just like, I don't hear voices, but I have the diagnosis anyways. Everyone was commenting, I relate to everything he said, but the, but, 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 but when he said he had no voices, because I hallucinate all the time, that's what one person said, and everyone was agreeing. I don't agree, I disagree, because I don't hear it. Shh, I don't hear, I, 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 I think I'm losing my hearing, if anything. Uh, same thing with autism, like, I'm not sensitive to sound, I have an autism diagnosis, but I'm not sensitive to noise or anything. I actually crave, I crave loud music. I love, I even, I love loud sounds, depending on what it is, though. Like, 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 like banging on pots. Like, if I, if I were to bang on pots, like, I like that. Um, I don't know, I just like loud noises, not every loud noise, but I love feeling things. I like feeling things that will make normal people, that will make 
normal people go, ah, you know. Um, I like hot, I like warm showers, you know, whatever. I don't know, I don't relate to autism either. I am obsessive and repetitive in a good way, not OCD. I don't know, it's just, I don't want to get off topic, but I think, I, I, I don't relate to any mental disorder, even though I'm on social security disability. I don't know, I just think I'm misunderstood. I'm, I am born in the wrong generation, literally. Like, I don't relate to people. I don't relate to this technical, computerized world that we live in. I want to go back to the witches, you know what I mean? Um, schizotypal, I don't have, I don't speak weird. You just said you want to go back to the witches, that's weird. I meant that literally, not metaphorically. That's not weird speech. Um, it's weird thinking. I don't know. I don't relate to schizotypal. My speech is kind of, my speech is kind, my speech is kind of casual. Sometimes I'm vague. Sometimes I'm metaphorical. But I'm pretty casual. You know, I have weird thinking and beliefs, but so do the other kin people. And I don't know. I my paranoia in the past was from PTSD. Not from some schizo type of disorder. I don't know. Um, I dress pretty casually. I do dress goth, but a lot of people dress like I don't know. When did becoming I don't wanna know. I'm I'm not. I don't know. I don't. So I think the to get to the main point of the video, the reason why I don't have a diagnosis of anything for me being weird or whatever or different or whatever you want to call it is because multiple complex developmental disorder. It's not in the DSM. If it ever does, um, I'll bring it up to, uh, hopefully the audio for this is okay, because I don't want the audio to be all muffly. If it is, I apologize. It should not be muffly, because um, the camera is, whatever. If multiple complex, because I had a developmental delay, I have chromosome 17, P13.3 duplication, which causes a more fan-like body, makes me skinny can't gain weight at all well I can like three pounds and then I lose it and I gain it again and I gain two pounds and I gain one pound I can't gain five pounds I can't get, I don't want to get off topic with that but you know I don't know my mind is a mystery I don't think I'm ever gonna get an answer um schizotypal is supposed to be for adulthood. When I was a kid, I had magical thinking, so I had schizotypal traits as a kid, which disqualifies me for schizotypal personality because it's supposed to happen when you're an adult. People could say that my schizotypal thinking is due to autism. I disagree because autism makes you literal, logical, scientific. You know, I'm none of those. I'm, I'm, I'm... I'm kind of metaphorical, but I'm pretty straightforward, literal. Um, I'm not logical. I'm really... I'm, I, I, I'm magical thinking. I don't care about technology. I like the simulation. I, I, I hope we make a simulation one day. But I like computers. Kind. Of, I'm not... I don't know anything about computers. I can't program. You know, I can't program. Um... But I like some technology. I just, I, know, I, I, I care more about the magical stuff. I don't, you know. Computers are cool, but I can I, Computers are cool, but I care about the magic. The old ways. Thou, like, do what thou wilt shall be the whole of the law. You know. Going in the woods. Nature. I, I like that. I don't know why. Um, I'm just attracted to that. When I say I'm born in the wrong generation, I mean it like that. I don't mean the music, I mean like that. I don't know. So I guess I guess with all of this, I, 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 I guess this is why I don't have a mental health diagnosis for my weirdness. Because, um, multiple complex developmental disorder is not in the DSM. I don't know. If I ever go back to therapy, and trust me, therapy is a hell hole for me because it just never fucking walks i'll bring it up to a doctor i'll bring up i don't know what i should bring up i'm not i don't know but 
Obviously, there's something wrong with me, or at least something different, you know? I can't relate to people because of my beliefs. Everyone around me, uh, I'm in from uh, America, a lot of Christians and stuff like that, which that's fine, but I'm not Christian, though. Um, I'm not atheist, I'm none of that. I don't know. Um, I can't relate to people. My beliefs don't cause impairment. It's me not relating to other people because of my beliefs that cause impairment. See what I'm saying? But yeah, no doctor can no doctor can help me. I was misdiagnosed as schizoaffective. When you look that up, that doesn't even fit me. <sighs> yeah, it's true that I could be hypo sometimes, and I can feel sad. Like, I can't cry, but sometimes I feel down. But I, I don't fit schizoaffective because my, my moods are reactive. And I don't hallucinate. And I don't cling on to one belief. A delusion is you cling on to one belief. I'm eclectic. So I'm not delusional. I switch a lot. I, 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 change, I, I, I do change my mind too much, might I add. So this is, uh, this is probably the reason why I can't relate. I mean, this is one of the reasons... This is one of the reasons why I probably don't have a diagnosis of anything. Because it's not... Multiple complex developmental disorder, it's not recognized. If it ever does get recognized, will I get diagnosed with it? Probably, probably not. You know, therapists, psychiatrists, they always... They never think of zebras. The, met the that metaphor means like usually when you hear clop clopping on the ground, you think of horses when it could be a zebra. I'm not making up this meta. This is a legit metaphor. This is a real metaphor. I'm not. This isn't schizotypal. Look up the think zebras, not horses. Look up that metaphor. I discovered it a long time ago. It's basically like. Think zebras, not horses. That's like, think of rare conditions, not the common ones. Because obviously I'm not common, I'm not schizophrenic, I'm not bipolar. I'm not even really autistic. I don't relate, I, I don't relate to that either. I, I respect autistic people. I had a lot of autistic friends before. I have falling outs with everyone, no matter what, you know. Um, I used to have friends, but, you know. Um, different kinds of friends, um, neurotypicals, people that would, you know, I had, I had not neurotypicals, you know, I've had, I've been friends with almost every type of person you can think of, and I had falling outs of all of them, because I just don't get along with anyone, no matter what you are, and I just can't get along with anyone, not even my own people, which is weird thinking, or whatever, and I can't get along with anyone, you know, but, I don't know, when I was in the autistic groups, I, there was something off about me. Like, there was something, like, I'm not, I, I'm not sensitive to stuff. I have weird beliefs. A bunch of autistic people were like, you have weird beliefs? Like, what are you talking about? That guy got like a 10, that guy got like 10 thumbs up on Reddit. Everyone was like, yeah, what kind of weird beliefs? Suggesting that weird beliefs is not a part of autism. I don't know. I just I don't think I'm ever gonna get an answer I think I'm just a weird wild spirit and Yeah, that's basically it I'm laying on my stomach <laughs> But yeah, I don't even know y'all I'm a mystery. I'll try it when this I'm fully vaccinated When I feel ready, I'll go back to therapy. I'll ask one more time I'll ask one more time to a, a mental health doctor, is do I is there something wrong with me? And if they say, if they don't give me an answer, then I guess I'm just different. I don't know, I'm just my own unique thing. I don't know.